What the Prof does, welcome back to my channel. Here we are at the new traffic circle. The latest traffic circle. It's a nation obsessed with traffic circles. This one is called the Peters Hall. Well, there's Houston, Peters Hall. Mandela Avenue, Peters Hall. Traffic circle. And since the last time we've been here, they've built this police outpost. So they built a, a little fenced in area, put a trailer down, and that's the police outpost. Seeing somebody had some trouble with the Jeep. Lost a um, wheel. Just a guy taking his cows out to pasture over there. And on this side, somebody's building a massive structure in the distance since the, since the last time I've been here. They've also completed, it seems like another warehouse structure. That's also new. But Let's go take a look at the pool and see what happens. So this intersection is supposed to connect the bypass road, the East Coast Bypass Road. So coming in at this. East side of the intersection, there should be that wide road which we saw the beginnings of at Ogu. A month ago, a month and a half ago, we should probably go take a look at that. Um, Roads, see how far it's come since the last time we've been there. This is what they've done since the last time we've been here. They've laid out this road. Now, the last time we were here, this road was just gravel. It was dirt. They have bumpy dirt. Since then, they seem to put a surface on it. Right here we are at the traffic circle. This side they completed about three months ago. So on this side there is the road to, the, to Peter's Hall. So that's across the way to Peter's Hall. On this side they seem at least to put a surface on this road. Because a month ago, there was this full of traffic heading in that direction. But this is where we expect the four lane highway coming in from the East Coast to meet this intersection. So that's kind of a bypass, it's supposed to bypass the entire Georgetown area to come in from the East Coast at this point. This is the traffic circle. And we've just come to see what's happening with it since the last time we've been here. Now, they seem to have laid out around the traffic circle the landscaping, right? They seem to have put in some landscaping. These are of greenery that have been planted all the way all around right all around the edge of this traffic circle and in the circle itself they seem to be doing some maintenance. Wow. Right there. Cleaning. Cleaning the pools. Oh, well, there seems to be a lot of dust coming in from the road. Right, a lot of dust coming in from the road. We showed this in the past. This is the name. It's the Mandela Eccles Peters Hall. Ogle interchange and road to 
So that's the name they've given to this traffic circle. This is the pool, and it's been a month since they've installed this. It's with the Jaguar in the center on the pedestal. And so what's happened since then? It's remained fairly clean. The water has become a little green, but I think that is to be expected. It's about filtering and maintaining and treating water. Now they put these signs up. There is no swimming, sitting or resting feet in or on pool edges. That is the new sign. So that's new. There's some cool rules now. Apparently, they want to make sure that nobody actually makes use of the pool. It's just a water feature. I still haven't come around here to take a look at it in the night. We'll do that in future. And in that direction, highway continues now. It's about a month since we've looked at the east end, or the north end of this highway. So we'll do that, take a look at what's happened since the last time we are here. But for now, this is what is happening here at the pool and traffic circle. They have employed maintenance workers to keep it clean. And apparently, there's been a cleanup crew coming out here regularly. They planted some scrub. Right, they planted some scrubs. And some trees. So that's it, guys. That's what's happening. That's what's happening in this neck of the woods. Seems as if some warehouses are being built. So this area is rapidly developing. That's Peter's Hall. New homes are also being built in that direction. We've already looked at some of the developments in those neighborhoods. And we'll come back and take a closer look as time goes by. see more content like this click like and subscribe in the comments below tell me what you think it was changes here at Mandela Peters Hall interchange and what do you think about the development the changes in this neck of the woods Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgia and Guyana. Later!